Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, y'all, I had to get this up before the end of July. I wanted to go over my top Bath & Body Works fragrance picks for the month of July. I do have a couple from Victoria's Secret as well that I want to mention. But yeah, y'all, it is a scorcher here today in uh, Northeast Ohio. It is over 90 degrees currently. And what better way to celebrate summer heat than a summer sale, y'all? Yes, today only over a Banger Beauty by Mary, we are having an extra 20% off on every order. No minimum requirements for purchase, nothing. And did I mention that all of our summer jellies and summer shimmers are currently marked down? Yes, you'll get an even bigger discount. Today I am wearing Pink Palm, layered with Berry Twilight, which is also still currently available. So yes, get over there. Make sure you enter the code EXTRA20 when checking out and you'll get that extra 20% off. Yeah, y'all, I was like, hey, we got to have a sale today. Does us, let's celebrate summer, the end of July. Let's get into this. Yeah, okay, my top picks for July. I wanna start off with the Victoria's Secret one because I feel like this is a very underrated scent, but I've been loving it this month, and it's Pineapple and Shea. Yes! This is my second full bottle of it, y'all. I literally just went through an entire bottle of it and finished it up. It will be in my next empties. Uh, it says glow with the scent of Pineapple and Shea. It is amazing. It has such a rich pineapple, but it also has this really creamy factor from the shea that's in it and it's absolutely gorgeous it's bright enough that it's refreshing but milky creamy enough to still feel comforting which is not something you'd normally expect from a fragrance in summertime but i love this one especially right after the shower going to bed at night oh yes oh yes oh yes next one this one has uh been a couple years but i've been loving it it's Copper Coconut Sands from Bath & Body. She came out 2022, y'all. Yeah, Copper Coconut Sands has scent notes of sun-kissed coconut, soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood. There's that sandalwood. Y'all know I'm a sandalwood hoe. I live for that shit. I love it. This is like one of the best coconuts they had ever come out with up until that point. It's a very creamy coconut, but you have these beautiful woody undertones from the sandalwood. It's exotic, but sexy at the same time. And definitely screams high heat summertime. Copper Coconut Sands for the win, baby, for the win. Now, another one from Victoria's Secret that is still currently available from them is Seaside Surf. Y'all... I've been digging this one, yo, like digging it, digging it. It is citrus yuzu quenches with sea salt flour and hibiscus. Y'all, I love this because it's very different from what they normally put out. You do get a little bit of hibiscus and you get some yuzu, but the sea salt note in here is very heavy and I love it. It screams by the ocean, seashore, beach day. Fresh, but sexy. It has a teeny bit of sweetness from that yuzu and from the hibiscus, and I love it. If you're a freshy girl that's looking for, like, something that's a little bit sweet, but not overly fresh at the same time, this is your thing, baby. This is it right here. Yep. Seaside Surf. You need it. You need it. Next one, y'all. I've gotten mad compliments on this all summer, but I've been wearing her a lot this month, and I'm really digging it. It's Getaway Soiree. Yep, from the Luxuries line, which is coming back this fall, y'all. I heard it, and I'm assuming we're going to get shower gels, body lotions, and I definitely am going to be getting one for Getaway Soiree. It is Sunkissed Mandarin, 
tuberose and solar musk. Now I know a lot of people are like, this was either a love it or a hate it. Me personally, it reminds me a lot of Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc, which I adore. It is a beautiful summertime scent. This is perfect. I layered it with that a lot. It definitely gives sunscreen vibes. However, the tuberose in here is super strong. You definitely smell like a sun-kissed goddess wearing this. Like you were just at the beach all day or the water park all day, and you've got this beautiful sun tanny yet floral component about it, and I love it. Definitely get a ton of compliments from men and women with this one. Highly recommend, highly recommend. We also have another oldie but goodie from Bath and Body, Tiki Bay, Isla Margarita. Who remembers this one? Who remembers it? That whole line, that whole tropical line that came out that year, which was 2020, yo. 2020, I've said this over and over again, was the banger year for scents. Like, we saw stuff that year that was freaking amazing, and I love it. Tiki Bay is yet another one of it. Just like it says Isla Margarita, it literally smells like that candle. It has scent notes of sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. God. You definitely get salt notes. You get mango. You get mandarin. You definitely get lime. They don't list lime in here, but you 100% get it absolutely gorgeous like literally like a walking fruit well not fruit but like a walking margarita on the rocks this is it baby for real for real for real love this one all july all july i have another one the vanilla ho in your girl loves this one for july it is victoria's secrets bare vanilla sun kissed She's an older one. She ain't been out in a hot minute. I don't even know what year this is from. But it has scent notes of vanilla glimmer, amber beams. Oh, I love this one. It literally smells to me like a summer evening. And you're eating like vanilla what, s'mores. Like the, the, the vanilla marshmallowy that you get from a s'more. Mixed with this very warm and creamy amber note. And this is beautiful. Absolutely perfect for summertime. I loved it this month. I like wearing it in the evening. It's, it kind of just puts me in this really soft and sexy feminine mood. And I love this one. I absolutely love this one. I think you can still probably find this one on like Mercari, Poshmark. Not really sure, you know, everywhere you can get it, but those two sites probably have this. But yes, this is a must, a must, a must. I've got four left, y'all, four left. Ready, you ready? Another one that's really putting me like in festival vibe this month for some reason is Bubblegum Pop from Bath & Body. She came out with that Fun Fair collection. I think it was the Fun Fair collection in 2000. When was this? 2022. And it was that weird collection that there was like no full set for any scent. It was very strange. However, this scent, for whatever reason, makes me feel like a kid in the high heat of summer going to carnivals and, you know, riding the Ferris wheel and running around and being a kid. And that's what this makes me think of. It is gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. I love this scent. It's like literally sticking your head inside of one of those old gumball machines. It has the big round gumballs that smell. That is exactly what this smells like. And I freaking love it. This brings out the inner kid in me every time. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I've been enjoying it all month. All month. Bath and Body again. Fresh Coconut Colada. Who remembers? We used to see this almost every SAS for summer. And now we haven't seen her in a while. I don't know when we're going to see her again. This one is from 2020. But it has scent notes of coconut milk, vanilla rum, <laughs> and pink hibiscus. It 
It's like a tropical drink, like a rum coconut drink. But there's also something sugary sweet in here that kind of reminds me a little bit like they mixed in bubblegum pop with this. And I love this. I love this scent. It's sexy, sweet, flirty. And it just smells like everything that would embody summer. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Who remembers this? Who still has it? Fresh Coconut Colada was the shiznit, the shiznit. Now I got two more, y'all. One is from Victoria's Secret. I've been loving this scent, but I'm so afraid to really use it the way I want to use it because I don't, we're never going to see this again from Victoria's Secret. I already know it. It's Bombshell Isle. Yep, she came out last summer. Scent notes on her are Ocean Air, Pearl Peony, and Island Coconut. I wore this a lot when we were in Puerto Vallarta last year, and I just fell in love with this. It was, it was light enough to not be overbearing in the heat, like the heat of Mexico heat, but it was still enough that it made me feel fresh and islandy, coconutty. It was, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely beauty. It's, it, it's beautiful. It's like a fresh floral take on coconut. And it's something we've never really seen from them before. I love this one. Highly recommend Bombshell Isle. The last one, y'all, this is one of my desert island scents. I can't get enough of it. I absolutely adore it. And I'm, I'm almost scared because I'm out of the OG packaging almost. And I'm going to have to uh, dig on Mercari to find this OG packaging, because I don't even want none of that newer ones. No, no, no. Saltwater Breeze from Bath and Body. This scent right here. Fire. F -f Fire. Fire. Scent notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. Those scent notes don't even really completely even describe this scent. Without even smelling it, I know exactly what it makes me think of every time I smell it. It's like standing next to the ocean. The sun is beating down on you. You can hear the waves. You can literally taste the salt on your lips from the ocean, like the, the spray, the spray coming off of the ocean, and just the smell in the air. And I absolutely love it. It's going to send me as soon as I smell it. It does every time. I remember when this first came out, I immediately fell in love. It has such a fresh, salty, like salty vibe about it. But you also get a tiniest bit of lavender in here. And there's even some type of a citrus note way in the back, which I'm guessing is bergamot. I absolutely love this scent. I'm telling you, it would be my desert island scent along with Christmas cookies, the OG version. And yeah, I can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that has been my number one for July. And it might be for the rest of summer. I don't know. I love this scent. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, but those are all my picks for the month of July. What did you think? What have you been wearing this month? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Make sure you get over to Banger Beauty by Mary. We have all of these right now. Well... These ones are for sure on sale already marked down. Plus, you're going to get an automatic 20% off with that code EXTRA20. Go run. The sale is only for today. That is it. And uh, yeah, we're at my favorite part, y'all. You ready? Ready, 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 ready? Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.